if you're sitting there trying to figure out what to create your course on and what program topic to choose, I know how frustrating that can be. It feels like you're just banging your head against the wall and nothing seems to be clicking. We're gonna solve that in this video today. And before we get started, I have to say the absolute worst way to pick a topic for your online course is to randomly choose one and then suffer the consequences later. I've now worked with nearly 3,000 people in taking their unique genius and turning it into a highly scalable online course business and picking a topic randomly will lead to the worst result of all, which is just crickets. No one buys when you go to sell. So let's make sure we don't do that. The five steps to picking a profitable course topic are find the need, number two, program topic, number three, find the tipping point, number four, identify the profitability of your topic, and number five, the cash flow equation to have deep impact, high profit, and not have to constantly post on social media. This is the place to be to build a peaceful, purposeful, and profitable online course business. I've been in this industry for over six years now. I absolutely love it and I'm so passionate about helping people do this because it's one of the best ways to get your voice and your message into the world and to impact the people that need you most. And if you're really serious about this and you wanna take it a step further, I do have a free masterclass that you can check out at the link below in my description that walks you through every single detail A to Z. So make sure you check that out. But first, let's dive into the steps. Number one, find the need. A really terrible way to build an online course or pick a topic is based off of just information and what you think people want and what you think people will want to invest into. In working with so many people to date and obviously building my own business to eight figures in course sales, it has to be based on need. And there's a really simple explanation for how you can identify that need. So first and foremost, we're gonna look at something called Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. You've probably heard of this before and I kinda of wanna walk through the categories in which almost every successful business in the world fits into, including your online program topic. So number one, you'll see self-actualization. So the desire to be the most one can be. Next is esteem, so respect, self-esteem, status, recognition, strength, freedom love and belonging, friendship, intimacy, family, sense of connection, safety needs, so personal security, employment resources, health, prosperity, and then physiological needs. So air, water, food, shelter, sleep, clothing, and reproduction. Very simply put, to create a profitable program and to choose the right topic, it has to tie into and be relevant to one of these needs. And if you think about really any offer that's out there, in some way, shape, or form, it's tied into one of these needs. Let's say you have a dating or relationship program that you wanna build, that would be very much tied into love and belonging. Let's say you have a fertility program for women that would be tied into physiological needs. So you need to be able to clearly see, okay, this is what I wanna create my program on. Now, what is the need that it's based on and that it's rooted in because that's ultimately what people are wanting and needing to invest into. It takes your program from being a nice to have and an option to a must have where people want to invest. The next step is program topic. Now you may think to yourself, I kind of know what the need is, but I don't really know the exact topic is gonna be. This is where we're gonna start digging into that a little bit further. So a secret clue here that is incredibly helpful is that the best program topic you can possibly pick is the most aligned with your experience and your expertise and your unique genius. Because the more aligned it is with you and who you are and what you bring to the table, the deeper impact you can have because you have the most applicable skill set and real world experience to be able to create the change and impact for the people you serve. So these are the eight questions to really dig deeper on that. Number one, what could you deliver a TED talk on right now without any preparation? Number two, what do people most often ask you for help with? Number three, what's a skill you've mastered? Number four, what is your career expertise or experience? Number five, if you could stop people from repeating the mistakes and frustrations you did, what are they? Number six, who are your favorite clients and what were their results? Number seven, what's the transformation you've created for yourself or for other people? And number eight, what methods or strategies do you find yourself repeating often? Now, those eight questions will help illuminate for you where your real genius zone lies. The more that you can dig into that and really take the time to answer those thoroughly, the more it's gonna to come to the surface what your program topic really should be. Number three, 
find the tipping point. Now this is hands down the most overlooked piece when people build out a program and it is painful and very costly to overlook this part. In working with thousands of people, we've identified that you need to know your three key factors of your ideal client in order for your program to really be able to sell in the long term. So number one is who is the ideal client? Number two is what is the specific tipping point when they are ready and willing to receive? the help you have to provide, and they're actually willing to do the work to create the transformation. Because if they're not at that place on their journey, they may want it, but for them it might be a nice to have, but not a must have. We need to know where they're at, where it's a must have, on their journey. And number three is what's the desired outcome that they are seeking. So to give a very clear example of what this looks like, a bad program topic is I help people get healthy. The problem there is that you really can only scratch the surface because you're essentially helping everyone get healthier on some level. What does that really mean? Are you helping them with digestive issues? Are you helping them with heart issues? Are you helping them with psychological issues? What is it? And who is it that you're helping? If you try to serve everybody, you can imagine you'll build a course that really serves nobody. Because imagine creating a curriculum for somebody who is, let's say, struggling with chronic fatigue and also trying to serve a person who wants to clear up their digestive issues. It's two separate programs, it's two separate courses. So we have to figure out what is the specific need for that person. So let me break this down in a really clear way. So a bad version is I help people get healthy. A good version <laughs> is this. I help women who are losing their hair due to hormonal changes go from frustrated, embarrassed, lost, and not wanting to leave the house to feeling empowered with a hormonal happiness plan so that they can reclaim their health, see their hair get stronger, and feel confident and healthy in themselves starting from the inside out. Do you see the difference there? We know the one ideal client, women struggling with hormonal and hair loss issues. We know where they're at on their journey. They are at a place where they're so embarrassed they can't even leave the house. And we know exactly what they're seeking to feel healthy from the inside out and to reclaim their confidence. That makes it very easy to know, okay, this is my ideal client and everything I do, any messaging or content I create is for that person. And that makes you magnetic and that helps you convert strangers into paying clients because it's so obvious who you're speaking to. Step number four, identify the profitability of your program topic. So I wanna share an actual breakdown of what this looks like. So I wanna walk through the cost because how to price a program does not come down to just picking a random price, just like it doesn't come down to picking a random topic. And you wanna really pick your price of your program, which I created a whole other video about that you can check out here and I'll put it in the description below. It comes down to identifying the cost to your ideal client of not having the solution you provide. So let me explain a little further what this means. So let's take a look at somebody who's struggling with hormonal issues and hair loss. And these are just a few examples. Obviously this could go way deeper. So on a financial level, they're paying for prescriptions, therapy, hair care, organic groceries to try and realign their health from the inside out. These are all the costs associated. On a emotional level, it's costing them confidence, intimacy, security, self-love. And on a mental level, it's costing them focus at work and they're taking more sick days than they normally would because they literally do not want to leave the house. And it's costing them being present with their family. So the 100K salary, let's say, that this person has is at risk. So we wanna look at the current and past costs to this client as an example. So if we take out even the salary, because it's not a concrete number, and we just look at what they're spending per month on prescriptions, hair care, groceries, etc., it's $19,200 per year. And the length of time they've been struggling with this is 10 years. So the total cost is $192,000. And to take that and pick a proper profitable price point, you can choose anywhere between 0.5 to 5%. And that would be $960 all the way up to $9,600. And that is how you identify the profitability of your topic. It's directly related to what it's currently costing them to not have this solution and how long it's been costing them to not have the solution. Number five, the cash flow equation to have deep impact, high profit, and not have to constantly post on social media. So one of the problems that a lot of course creators run into is they think I constantly have to be building my audience. I constantly have to be posting on social media and you're on this hamster wheel that you can't get off. And at the end of the day, it's not leading to really getting clients in the door. And even if you do have clients, you can't focus on them because you're so exhausted creating content. Give me a heck yes if you know exactly what I'm talking about in the comments below. I know a lot of you will be able to relate to that. So what you wanna do is really reverse engineer what you can potentially do with this business and what it's actually going to require from you in terms of marketing and in terms 
of generating leads and clients. And it's a lot simpler than you think. So the equation simply looks like this. You want to make $5,000 a month and you're going to price your program at $1,000. That means just five clients each month. How many clients is that per year? 60 clients a year. This means you do not need all of the leads or traffic or views or followers or blah, blah, blah in the world. <laughs> Can you tell that this is a hot topic for me? <laughs> so if you properly and adequately price a program that is highly impactful, it takes a lot of the stress and pressure off of constantly having to market it, especially because you're going to get clients in the door who are at the right place to do the work, which leads to them getting such great results that they end up doing a lot of the marketing for you. They tell their friends, they tell everybody they know, you have to work this person. They are the best of the best when it comes to this topic. And then that organically just starts to bring new leads and new referrals to you and your business without, again, having to put in that push, constantly creating content and shouting into the void of social media, which let's face it, does anyone really want to do that? I don't. So my whole <laughs> emphasis for you and for the people I work with and for myself too, I want to be able to do everything with a clear intention and to do the most in my business with the least amount of effort, push energy, and needing to market all the time because that doesn't really create a business that creates a job for you. And you don't need a job. You wanna create a business that can run on autopilot and they can grow without your constant time and attention, which by the way, I have a whole video on creating an evergreen business. You can check that out in the description below. Now, if this made sense, I want to know your takeaways and I want to know what's the program topic. Let me know in the comments below, give this video a like, and be sure to subscribe for new videos every single week. Like I said, this is dedicated to creating a peaceful, purposeful, and profitable online course business. And if you wanna take it a step further, I've created a free masterclass on the four steps to creating a highly scalable, highly profitable online course business. You can grab that and check it out on demand at the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye.